In my last video, I explored Pismo Beach and came to conclude that the best things in life are here on this central coast. But I didn't want to be done just yet, so before heading back to LA, I decided to take a quick trip about 20 miles north to Morro Bay and Montana de Oro State Park. Can't miss stops went on that Pacific Coast Highway road trip. Here's why. Before exploring, I started my visit on the Embarcadero, home to waterfront dining, gift shops, and sea otters here in Morro Bay. There is also a popular candy store called Carousel Taffy, which has over 70 flavors ranging from watermelon to chicken and waffles. And they offer a free sample. Did not get the chicken and waffles though. Sounds kind of gross. Raspberry. I love it. It feels like I am in the Wizard of Oz or something. Okay, solid spot over here. So beautiful. Got a rocky beach with beautiful views of the coast and really large rocks. We got that marine layer really dramatic today. No sun. When I say the central coast is more chill than Southern California, I literally mean it. Montana de Oro State Park is one of the most unique landscapes you'll ever see and you can see it all on the Bluff Trail right here on the Central Coast. On this four mile loop, you'll pass by tide pools, coves, sea life, and be exposed to geological processes millions of years in the making. What am I, in Ireland or California? You got Morro Rock in the distance over here. I'm gonna go there tomorrow. On the coast, there are stacked up layers of sedimentary rocks, otherwise known as rock strata. You can observe six million years worth of rock strata that were deposited sequentially through time. You can also find 12 distinct marine terraces in the park, which resemble a staircase leading down to the ocean and are formed by wave erosion, cutting a marine platform at the base of a sea cliff. Okay, headed down to explore the tide pools. We have beautiful rock formations. I love the Central Coast. I feel like I'm on an elementary school field trip when they would take you down to the shore and you can pick out shells and all that. I love this park. Perfect cloudy day hike. I love that the entire trail is on the coast. So you get these beautiful views just everywhere you walk and look. I'm obsessed. It is the next morning. The marine layer is gone, so the sun is shining, which I'm really happy about because this is the way you experience seeing Morro Rock, where we are right now at Morro Bay State Park. Morro Rock is a California historic landmark and was formed about 23 million years ago from the plugs of extinct volcanoes. Morro Rock served as a navigational aid for mariners because the rock is approximately 576 feet tall, making it the most visible in a chain of nine peaks. This thing is a California state landmark. It is actually an inactive volcano, one of nine here in Morro Bay, which they frequently call the Nine Sisters. I believe you're only able to access five of them. Um, there's a few you can hike up to. More rock is more so just a viewing point. So beautiful. 
Even though the sun is shining, I am freezing. It is a chilly 53 degrees. I gotta get back to SoCal. And what is this? We got like a museum of rocks on top of rocks. So there's a beach right off of Morro Rock where you can go kayaking and stand up paddle boarding. I believe the water is shallow, so it's great for beginners. I was thinking about doing it today, but it's really cold. And if I risk falling in, I'll freeze. While I didn't have as much time as I wanted to explore this area, I know I'll be back for a visit soon to experience even more beauty of California's central coast. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time for more California adventures.